What is endpoint monitoring? Why is it important for you, but also for your clients? Now, some of you might be thinking, Harrison, this is so basic, but that's okay. There's probably some things in this video that you've never thought of that is going to help you make your MSP significantly more profitable, but also allow your clients to sleep well at night. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. That is exactly what we are going to be covering in today's video. Before I get into today's video, as always, masterclass down below. Also, for those of you that want to get a little bit more in touch with the MSP community, I do have a free Discord. It is also down in the links down below. Go check it out. Totally free. Jump right in. Come hang out. We love talking about MSP and IT stuff. It's really stuff because we talk about a bunch of different things in there. So let's talk about what endpoint monitoring is. What is an endpoint? An endpoint in the most basic example, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because for whatever reason, we as tech people have the hardest time explaining to customers like what is an endpoint or these very basic concepts that we know. An endpoint is basically just a computer that your client is using that reaches out to the internet. In many cases, we usually consider it to just be other computers as well. It doesn't necessarily, it could be even off the network, but it's still a computer there. It could be a little technical in that regard. But if you talk to a customer and you say, yeah, we, we protect your endpoints, a customer's like, what is an endpoint? I've never heard of this term. This sounds like something out of a video game. It's just a computer that usually either talks to the network or gets out to the internet. In some cases, it might not even get out to the internet. And that's it. That is at the most basic level what it actually is. And Every client's office is full of them. If they weren't, we probably wouldn't be in business or we wouldn't be able to make any money. So let's talk about the benefits for us because we're a little selfish, right? At the end of the day, and I've pulled up some examples here of endpoints, security monitoring that'll make your life a million times easier. But the benefit for us is twofold. Number one, it's an additional service we get to sell. But two, even more than it's an additional service that we get to sell, and some of you may want to include it in your package, is it makes our lives easier knowing that our phone isn't going to be ringing off the hook over and over and over again for a, hey, my computer's slow, I have a virus or something's going on. And it could just be basic malware that somebody went on to a potentially harmful link for. We don't want to deal with those phone calls. Those phone calls eat up valuable, valuable help desk time. And that just takes away from productivity, and profitability. If you have a technician, even a level one technician, working on silly little phone calls, hey, Mike, I think I got something on my computer. Uh, I got a pop-up saying, you know, I, I have a package coming, but I don't have a package coming. Can you look into it? That eats up valuable help desk time when that technician could actually go be working on serious issues or other more profitable things in the business. You realistically don't want that to happen. So having a solid endpoint detection, a solid antivirus to prevent those endpoints from getting infected is the most basic level of profitability. And the more you can roll out with the best or, or better softwares produces a, a easier peace of mind for you, but also just more profitable in your business. And the benefit for the client is the client doesn't have to think, what do I pay these guys for? I'm giving them, I'm going to use my Amex bill here, but I'm giving them all of this money, every single month, I mail my check in, I pay via credit card, whatever it is, every single month I pay these people that monthly reoccurring revenue that we so desperately love. And I have to deal with these silly little issues that when I go to my own computer, maybe it's a Mac at home or whatever, I don't have these problems, but they're not a business when they're at home. So having this thing to be able to say, hey, you're giving us this money every single month in return, you don't have to call us for these silly little issues or these malwares that have just gotten onto the computer is the best thing in the world. The client thinks that we're doing a fantastic job, even though we're just rolling out software, and we get to keep and uh, maintain our profitability that we work so hard to get. So now that we've talked about that, let's talk about going into this, and then I want to talk about how to sell endpoint services. So I pulled up a couple basic ones here. So ESET is the one that I kind of grew up on. It's a fantastic platform. It's fairly cheap depending on what you buy. Now, this is they, they do it both for home and for business and for enterprise. 
whatever you prefer, whatever you think you fit into is totally fine for you. And these are all really good options. I have nothing against any of these. There's not one that's better than another. If you go online, you might read some stuff that says, hey, this is the best thing ever. It's all preference. At the end of the day, it really comes down to preference. Look for a respectable vendor. See what other people are using in the industry and go through it. I've vetted all of these. These are all industry leaders that other people use. But just because I haven't mentioned it here doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There are plenty of them out there. Just don't spend too much time. Find one that you like and start rolling it out. So ESET, you roll it out at the endpoint level, and it's just your basic level of antivirus. Now, the reason why I like ESET and a lot of these too is they have a massive database of viruses and basically cyber attacks that are going on, and they can update their platforms to help maintain a barrier to make sure that that's not happening. All of these companies do, which is a beautiful thing. So ESET is one, it's a super, it's a, it's a very low cost client. You could roll it out over and over and over again. They do work with MSP, so you can roll it out in mass, especially if you have a lot of clients. And it's probably the most basic level of antivirus that you could possibly, possibly get. Now there's other ones too, where we have Manage Engine. So Manage Engine will help centralize your MSP. Now it's just another endpoint detection software out there. They do patch management, software deployment. They do a little bit more. They're not just fully an antivirus system. And I know that this one is going to make a lot of people grin, but Huntress. Huntress is a loved, loved platform. I can't re stop reading enough positive things about Huntress. Huntress. They do a really, really good job. They go through. It's a nice, simple, and easy to use interface. You can see here, I would argue to say that not only are they one of the leaders, but they have the best customer support out of every single other software out there. Now, hopefully they consistently keep that path. But if you're looking for a company that you could pick up the phone, you can make a phone call and say, Hey, I have something going on, or I have an issue with the software. These guys are your favorite choice bar none stuck them right in the middle see how i did that want to make sure you, you're watching pay attention the whole time i personally love them i think they're really really cool i've spoken to these guys in the past i've heard countless beneficial stories people raving about them they are the real deal it's a super cool company i like what they do i like that they have a clean easy design as well makes life super super simple now some of us might be doing this now i don't condone this behavior but i have seen it work microsoft is a multi-billion dollar company and some people choose to roll out microsoft defender to each their own it's a respectable company i had to throw it in the mix it's up to you if you want to use it or not. I have had people swear up and down on their children that this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Microsoft is a powerhouse of a company with nearly unlimited resources. They are investing tons of money in this. And the reason why they do that is because not only are they able to see it on both ends, it's probably coming from a PC, but also they get to sell you something. So why wouldn't it? It's a nice little add-on to the tech stack that you already have. You don't have to go through anything crazy. You can get it with Office 365. They do offer enterprise versions of it. You can safeguard, you know, they talk about the family, but I've seen it rolled out for businesses and they swear by it. Another fan favorite, Bitdefender. Now Bitdefender is another just great alternative. I keep seeing people talk between Bitdefender and Huntress totally up to you, but it's just another one in the mix. You can do it for home, for business. You can, they work with MSPs. This is, it's a great little thing that you could roll out. You could work with them, right? They already have, are you a customer? What kind of customer are you? Or do you want to partner with them? But it is pretty cool. I keep seeing really, really good things about that. And last but not least, another fan favorite is Sentinel One. Um, Sentinel One, if you do see this, that's a little hard to read, by the way, when, uh, when it gets a little dark back there. But it is pretty cool. They are another one in here. Now, they're not just doing endpoint. They're providing a platform that allows you to have full visibility across all of your endpoints that it's rolled out on to see what's actually going on in the system. That's the big difference. ESET is more of just on the computer unless they've made massive updates that I haven't heard about. It's going to go on, your, on that specific endpoint. You can run it. You can run a script to it, whatever it may be. But Sentinel One, Huntress, and some of these other platforms are going to just think of like a command center where you have all of these screens, you can see everything going on, and then you could either go into that computer or 
monitor and see what's going on from afar. That's some of the benefits of some of the other platforms that I've mentioned out there. But some people use Microsoft Bitdefender and have nothing but positive things to say about it. Please don't come after me. I'm just a messenger here. This is what I read. I spend a lot of time in the MSP world every single day trying to get you guys the best possible information. Now, I did talk about adding this two plans. Now, you can get into an MSSP, so Managed Security Service Provider, however you want to change the S's in there is totally up to you. And I like to talk about solutions as well. You might even have an MSSSP. Now we're getting out of control with the S's, but you could be a Managed Services Solutions Security Provider. You could get crazy with it. What you have to think about at the end of the day is what you're actually going to be offering to your clients. What is the bare minimum? Most MSPs have three different packages. You might have one that just, hey, if somebody ever gets on this computer, we have to support it, but you might have 20 computers and you might only have 10 employees. Well, you might want to sell all 10 employees and not 20 computers worth of support. So you might have a different plan for certain companies. These are all different areas that you can think about as you begin to build your service and pricing packages out there. You might have a all you can eat where if a customer calls in, they're gonna get help, but you might have a premium version, which is like the whole enchilada. There is not a skip out there. If there is something that you could sell, it's probably in that plan. And that plan might be several hundred, two, three, four, five hundred dollars per month. Yes, before anybody says 500, yes, it is possible to get $500 a month. You have to be good at sales, but you also have to have an incredible package that makes a customer feel like you and your company are the greatest thing since sliced bread out there. But think about it. Go get pricing from every single one of these companies. They don't make pricing available publicly. That's how they do it. But go get pricing, figure out what's going to work in your tech stack and figure out how you can increase your pricing and explain to the customers the benefits that they are going to get throughout this process. You don't want to sit there and think, well, I don't know how to sell it. You know, Harrison said I needed to go look at this. And, you know, I know he's helping a lot of people with their businesses and he has this amazing Discord community, but I don't really know how to sell it. You have to think about, hey, what is it going to cost either per endpoint? What is it going to cost you for a, a block of licenses? Think about it and think about how you can add it into there. Maybe it's a 50 or 100% markup. But maybe you're really, really good. You are going to have somebody sitting there watching the command center at all times who's going to be there just in case something goes wrong. Maybe you want to charge 400% more than what it actually costs. That's the beautiful part about this. I get to bring the information to you. I get to tell you the benefits of the entire process. And then you get to figure out what you're going to charge. Maybe it's an attachment onto your plan. Hey, by the way, we're going to do, we're, we can add this in here on top of your plan already as a peace of mind package where we're going to make sure that no threats get through. And if they do, we're there to tackle them immediately. So it's pretty cool how you can go through this whole process. My whiteboard is set up. We are in 2024. There's a lot of amazing things happening. If you've made it this far in the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, little notification bell. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. By the way, winners, please claim your prizes. I've emailed all of you. I would really appreciate to have the extra floor space. My my office is not that big. And other than that, I love the heck out of you guys. Go grab that masterclass. I have tons of new resources coming. And other than that, I love you guys. See you guys later.